Okay, Douglas, <laughs> tell us about your design industry experience. Design, fashion school, you know, um, internships, jobs, classes, self-taught, okay. etc. Well, um, <clears throat> I first started or learned to sew in high school. Uh, I took a men's tailoring course, and from the men's tailoring course, I started to make my own clothes. And at that time, I was doing little fashion shows around Newark, so I started making my little costumes, mm -hmm. and then I started to make clothes for my girlfriends, such as yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got into women's wear. Mm -hmm. And from there, I went to school. I went to design school. I went to Trapagan which was a small school on Park Avenue South. Uh, noted alumni are Anne Klein, Galanos, Joffrey Bean, and um, John Anthony, to name a few. So it was a good school. It was a very good school. Um, you get out of it what you put into it. You know, so I went to Trapagan. Uh, I won my first award at Trapagan, uh, which was the Shifley Contest. I, actually, I came in third place, which there was only three places, but of the whole school to come in third place, pretty you know, that's, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The guy who came in second place, he cheated. Yeah, he cheated. Because <laughs> we were supposed to make one alpha, he made two. Okay, so you cheated. You know, that's a double thing. Right? Uh -huh, made uh -huh, one alpha. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so. <laughs> so okay, okay, so then there was Trapagan. So then after Trapagan, a couple of years later, I went to FIT. Initially I wanted to go to FIT first, but you know, they didn't accept me. I went to Trapagan because they accepted me first, but later I did go to FIT for about a year. And you know, when I went to the uh, audition for um, FIT, they told me, you know, they looked at my book, they looked at my clothes, and they told me, well, you don't need to go to school. You got everything you need, you know, from Trapagan, mm -hmm. but we'll take your money. So um, that's what they did. But it was my confidence, you know, I needed to work on my confidence more than I needed to work on my patterns or whatever. So anyway, I went to FIT. And after FIT, I got my first job working for a company called Via Couture, which was an evening warehouse. And I was really only doing like little design room things. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I worked for Isaiah, which Isaiah w was one of the biggest black designers that we've, that, you know, have probably been produced, you know, aside from Patrick Kelly and, you know, Willie Smith. But he was right there with them. And I worked for him after he died. I worked for his wife, who continued on the for, um, for a short time, which actually brought me to where I'm at now. Because working, had I not worked for them, then I probably wouldn't have the aesthetics that I have now. So basically, awesome. thanks. Awesome. Um, this, this question is part of the initial video. Mm -hmm. um, it says, do you have a design, do you have designing, sketching, sewing, and pattern making experience? Be specific and list all the relevant experiences that translate into uh, to your line, design abilities, and list anything that you do not have experience doing. Okay, well, yes, I'm, I'm fully functional from sketch to finish. Mm -hmm. So I, I get the concept, I sketch the concept, I make the pattern or I drape it, uh, mostly I'm flat pattern. Um, and then I cut it, I sew it, uh, I produce it. So yeah, from start mm -hmm. to finish. Um, do you make a living as a designer? Yes, I have for quite some years now. Since actually since um, '95, I've been working full time for myself since '95. Mm -hmm. And it also says here, what is your gross sales for mm -hmm. your your biggest year? I I don't have it handy. I mean, I have it, but I don't have it handy. Mm -hmm. How about I write that down? Okay, yeah. you write it down on later on. Yeah. Yeah. What aspe aspects of your uh, business do you think needs to improve? The business side or the creative side? Please elaborate. The business side. I, I would say the business side. Um, even though I'm a, a very good, you know, businessman for, you know, what I've been doing, but I need somebody else to take me higher, you know? I, I need to be able to concentrate solely on 
the creative and you know and, and have somebody else do the business even though you need to know what that person's doing you know even though you know with a team mm -hmm. such as I'm developing I'm comfortable you know knowing that you know they got my back um, and the next question is what did, uh, what can Joe help you with to take your business to the next level what are the three things Joe can do to help you with your business line? Um, well, in seeing the show a few times, I've seen what, you know, Joe has done for other people. Definitely, you know, setting up the buyer's contacts, you know, which is one of the things that I have not been afforded, you know, the opportunity. So that would be great, you know, to um, put me in front of the buyers and, you know, and I'll produce, you know, I'll produce um, that and whatever Joe says, whatever, really and truly, whatever Joe says is what I'll do. In looking at, you know, a couple of the episodes, those who don't listen to Joe, they don't fan well, you know. So, you know, if Joe says, then Joe knows, you know. It's like, <laughs> oh, knows. knows, Joe knows. Joe knows. <laughs> Um, how do you think you handle a quick design challenge and a bigger challenge Joe may give you while on the show? Part two. Well, what do you think, let me just finish, mm -hmm, yeah. what do you think will um, be your strengths and weaknesses? Well, working with, back again, working with the prom kids, mm -hmm. it taught me that I can work under pressure and that I can, um, I can, I can achieve more than I thought I could. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like working with them is like challenging. It's challenging, mm -hmm. but it's challenges. Every every person is a challenge mm -hmm. because everybody has something else, you know, that you've not considered yet. Right. So therefore, you you know you've got to go inside yourself. You've got to go inside your tricks, your bag of tricks. So yeah. I hope I answered that. Yeah, yeah, you did. Um, um, how hard are you willing to work to turn your business around, and how hard will you work for Joe? I don't think that Joe has ever had anybody on this show that's going to work harder than I am, because I want it, really. Not to say that nobody else has wanted it, but I want it that. That leads into our next question. Okay. okay. Uh, why do you want to be on the show? Save your business, get past the, um, a rocky block, challenge, change the direction in your career, elaborate. Change the, the direction of my career. Really and truly, I feel like this is the last stop. You know, I feel that, um, you know, I'm 51. Well, 50, but I'll be 51 by the time they see this. Um, I'm 51, and um, as far as I'm concerned, I've done everything that I can to to sustain myself, to keep myself at this level, and I need to go higher. I need to go higher, and I need somebody to have my back, or somebody to push me, or somebody to lead me, or somebody to guide me, somebody to direct me. I need Joe. And the next question, so wonderfully put, is why do you need Joe's help? <laughs> <laughs> How important is the opportunity and why? What's on the line? I'm on the line. My career's on the line. And, you know, after this, I mean, if, if I don't get this, I really don't know how much longer I can do this, you know? Mm -hmm. And I... I, I I hasten to think that I'd have to return back to the corporate world because I wouldn't even know where to start. I'm 51 years old. Do I go back to McDonald's? Do I go back to sales at Bloomingdale's and have some 24-year-old who's my boss? Mm. You know what I mean? I, 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 ugh, I couldn't even. How badly do you need this show? Extremely badly. What will happen if you're not selected? How important is the opportunity and why? Elaborate what you've done already. <laughs> I have, I have. Um, I, I don't know that I could, I don't know that I could um, say any further or elaborate any further how bad I need, I want this. Um, hmm. 
Thank you, Douglas. Thank you. Thank you.